Peace. Yeah. Think fast. <laughs> Another anime uh, show that I'm on now. <laughs> Matter of fact, y'all probably already are probably already watching it, but uh, The Blue Exorcist. Is another uh, good one. Matter of fact, this one is actually, I think, on Netflix. But uh, The Blue Exorcist is basically about, uh, you could say, two twin brothers where one of them is like half demon because he's the son of actual Satan, like he's the son of the devil. And then uh, the other uh, twin brother is an actual uh, exorcist, was raised to be. Picture they were born, you know, twins, and one was a demon. So, you know, dealing with the devil. And the other one, when he came out, because they knew that the other brother was a demon, they taught him from a young age to be an exorcist, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, here it is that they, then they grew up both becoming uh, exorcists, where the, the, uh, the, the brother that's not a demon is actually the teacher to the one that is a demon uh, in the exorcist school or whatever. As a matter of fact, this, uh, this anime, which is, pretty uh cool is that they they don't really use a lot of like which other shows like I use King Solomon's name and stuff like this but this one right here really uses a lot of real names in that sense like they bring up uh the stone malachite and you know in fact they got a little store where you go almost like a little wicker store where you go get your different herbs and stuff like that you know what I'm saying and which I'm starting to realize with all of these shows, you know what I'm saying, whether it's Alchemy, the Full Metal Alchemist, matter of fact, Doctor Strange, uh, you know, the Kingdom of Magi, but it's all about, you know, that magic coming from them hands and them emblems, you know what I'm saying, being them hands and doing type of work with sigils and stuff like that, but, and also, with uh, a lot of these animes, you start to see so much of the astro theology within anime, you know what I'm saying? Because when I'm looking at the Blue Exorcist, I'm thinking to myself, all right, this is like a, you know, a straight up representation of Saturn. You know, he's the son of Saturn and, you know, that blue energy, you know, hell is cold, you know what I'm saying? Like that cold energy from Saturn. That's why he got like the blue flame to him. So when you start personifying anime and different you know, shows like this, you get the bigger meaning from it. But basically, you know, the two brothers, and it's really following the the demon brother, though, you know what I'm saying? And basically, he's a, a demon, and two, both of them develop the skill, like, say, for instance, as being a demon, you know, that brother was able to see other demons, you know what I'm saying, since birth, you know what I'm saying? But also... They got a thing where some exorcists have to go through a situation. I forgot the name of it, but it's a situation where they are allowed to see demons. That's the only way they could really fight them. But uh, you know, in in some cases, it's almost like a, another demon. A demon would have to initiate you into that process to being able to see demons. But you know, with the twin brothers, you know, with them being in the womb, the demon brother just by default of being born with the other brother, you know, initiated that. The, the brother who's not a demon into being able to see, you know, other demons. In fact, did I say spoiler alert before this bitch? <laughs> I be forget, man. I be forget. Which y'all should know better, though. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, and then, uh, so basically they, you know, they see the little demons. Like, little, they don't look super malicious, but, you know, from little fairy-looking demons to, matter of fact, it's almost like a... Too, you see the correlation of like how you got the rook, the rook in the magi is like the chi energy or like you know just energy floating around, and like you got like the dark rook, but you know like they see they got like little small little fairy demons that float around, and if you pick up enough of negativity, they kind of gravitate towards you until the demon could actually take you know your body. You know, but it deals with, you know, demons taking it, taking up people's body. Matter of fact, well, one guy got a demon, came into his body, you know, and then he didn't even remember it, you know, just turning malicious out the blue, you know, because that demon, you know, took him over. And it's a personification of, you know, what goes on in the, uh, the real world, in essence. Matter of fact, that's where, like, when we get full of that alcohol and all these things, uh, 
these drugs that lower our vibration and you know it allow for things to feed on you and the lower you drop your vibration the more things could feed on you and if you put yourself in too far of a bad place then you just be you know run by that lower vibration or that you know that that evil or that you know what i'm saying that vibration that demon you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying <laughs> but you know and they do have more of a, a Christian approach, you know, to say even though it's some anime, you know, from uh, from Asia, it does have like a Christian approach where, you know, it's in a, uh, almost like in a church setting. Because matter of fact, it was tight, like where the preachers also could do like different little magic abilities, stuff like that. So, you know, matter of fact, of course, they, they even brought up the lesser kid. It was teaching a class in the exorcist class, and they just bring up the lesser key asylum and straight up high there. That's another thing. Like I say, they just sharing information almost like how it really is, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, oh, that's a plus, you know, because you're almost really getting a lesson from watching it, you know, and not just you no know, made up names that's, that's, you know, symbolizing real things, but they're actually using some of the real names in certain situations, you know. And then, uh, and then lastly, before I even uh, finish, uh, one one of the first, and I'm not deep into, I just started, but one of the quick lessons I saw was uh, the teacher talks about summoning demons, you know, and matter of fact, in this little situation in the cartoon, I saw how the demon personified your inner dark side and your inner ego, you know, your ego or your inner dark side, but basically... The teacher talks about summoning a demon and how you have to have full willpower and control over it or else it's going to, you know, see you as weak and then attack you, you know what I'm saying? So basically you got to be strong and show you got willpower. So basically like when you can control in your ego, you know, when you're observing your ego, you got to show your ego, hey, I see you, you know, because the moment you don't show that will and that strength, that ego going to bite at you, you know what I'm saying? That's like your dark side too. You know what I'm saying? So it was a personification of, you know, and, and which it, it, and it was a real, like, where they all got, like, a little sigil on a sheet of paper. And only certain people who could really, like, have the power to command demons could, could summon the demon. You know, only two people in the classroom could do it. You know, and that's what you're saying. It was like, you know, y'all got the the willpower, but two, you also would would uh, produce a demon that only you could handle. Cause one girl popped out a little green, like a little fairy looking demon. So it was like a demon in essence, but it's just like a little green, you know, somewhat playful demon. And the other chick had like two foxes or whatever. And then they had a part later on where something went down, and then she got shook. You know, she was shook by the situation, and then the foxes looked back like. You are not strong. You don't have no willpower. You can't control us. And then they, they attack her, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like in control of your demons. You know, either you control your demons or your demons gonna control you. You know, so I saw the personification of that, you know what I'm saying? Basically, uh the personification of self mastery as well as the balance of forces within the universe, you know, as above so below, you know. Balancing that dark side, you know, like, of course, you're doing good in essence, but quote unquote good. But, uh, you know what I'm saying? Is that master of the dark side also? You know, the master of those demons, knowing how to work with your demons. You know, and that's a personification of that. But that's basically it. <laughs> I don't want to get too far, but the Blue Exorcist, y'all definitely check that out. It's another. Uh, Good little anime I've, I've been watching lately. But peace. Have it now. Now is the vibrate. Not too far in the future. Not too far in the past. Right now.